Hello, welcome to the South China Morning Post Home Cooking with Susan Zhang. Today I'll be teaching you how to make cabbage kimchi. In Korea, kimchi is traditionally made in huge batches in the winter, but I don't like it to be too fermented, so I make it throughout the year. So you cut through the base and then tear it apart and it breaks along natural lines so it doesn't end up with small bits. Some of the smaller pieces don't even need to be sliced. The medium sized pieces you want to cut in two or three pieces. The most important step is salting it. I don't really measure the salt. You just get a lot of it and sprinkle it over. This takes about six hours. What I like to do is start it the night before and then the next morning I can make the, the kimchi. It's very stiff at first. You can see that it will break as you bend it. This has been salted overnight. And as you can see, if you bend it, it's pliable. And then I filled up the bowl with water and I'm massaging it again to get off any excess salt. You want to taste it to make sure that it's not too salty. And when it's ready, you just squeeze out as much water as possible and put it in a bowl. The next step is making the flavoring paste. I've got some rice flour a glass of water, and I'm going to cook it. After you've whisked out all the lumps, you can switch to using a spatula or a spoon. And then it turns from opaque to translucent. And then you add in some sugar. After the rice paste has cooled, you can put it in a bowl and then mix in the other seasonings. The chili flakes, the salted shrimp which I've chopped, the grated ginger, chopped garlic, the fish sauce and a bit of salt. And you just mix it all together. You won't need it all. Now's the time to put on a glove so that when you mix it, your hands don't turn red. Okay. Now, what you can do now is you can eat the kimchi fresh and it's really delicious this way, or you can do what I do, which is gonna, I'm gonna put it in jars and let it ferment. Refrigerate the kimchi for a few days and it will get nice and fermented. And then you should actually open the jar every few days just to make sure that it, the gases are not building up too much. And there you have kimchi. Thank you for watching another episode of Home Cooking with Susan Jung. Hope you enjoyed this. See you again next time.